What do you do if you have a bunch of empty tin cans, a whole lot of fabric scraps, and girls who like to craft? Why, yes, you find something that incorporates all of those things, empty cans, fabric scraps, crafting, fun, color, and you go exploring and then you find and then you make beautiful things like these. These are recycled tin can wind socks. And today that's what we're going to look at how to make. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life, and thank you so much for joining me today as we have some fun making some beautiful, colorful wind socks. We are upcycling today. We are taking empty cans. We are taking fabric scraps. We are taking paint and just having some fun. I love to have fun, and I love to explore and to create and to bring things to life. Oh, I do that with these videos too. I love to bring the things that I really am passionate about, like parenting and education. Yes, and even some crafts because that is education. You know, and so thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your comments, for just being part of this Learning Life community. Now, are you ready for some fun? You know, this really is great. We had a lot of fun. My girls wanted to do something. And I'm like, oh, we've got all these empty cans. If we had 10 cans of olives in this house, within two days, they'd all be gone. My girls are olive fiends. So we often have empty cans. Yes, we do recycle. Yes, but it is also fun to take a hold of these things and make something else out of them. Oh, like at Christmas, we made a whole bunch of like little hand drums. That was a lot of fun. But today we're going to make these tin cans into beautiful wind socks. Look, I know that these ones look a little more girly because, well, I have girls. But that doesn't mean that boys can't do this, okay? So even though my fabric scraps and everything might look a bit more girly, you know what? You can have fun with this just doing bold, plain colors. Like the thing about a craft like this is you make it your own. You look and you find an idea and go, well, I could do this and then add. Or maybe if I just do... It's entirely up to you. And that's what I want to do is explore. We explored. We had some fun. So first of all, we need some empty tin cans. And of course, we open up the bottom and then we want to make sure that we cut out the bottom. Okay. Bottoms don't really work. We painted. We haven't cut this one out. I want you to see. All right. So we've cut out so we can see through. I see you. Okay, we then used acrylic paints. And the reason why we used acrylic paints is because we wanna hang these outside. And if they get wet, it's going to be okay. Because our paint brushes, oh yes, our can opener, you know, we do wanna have this. I love this can opener because it means no sharp edges. If you have sharp edges, then put some tape or something around it. But this can opener is my friend, no sharp edges. And of course, you know, we used glitter. I have a friend that rather encourages me in my love of glitter. She's always like, oh, what can we do that has more glitter? So Kristen, this is for you. We added glitter, of course, to our paint. And then we need our scissors and then a whole bunch of fabric scraps and ribbon scraps. You know, often if I'm doing a sewing project for someone, I just like there's bits left over. I hold on to them for such a time as this. <laughs> no, I, we do. I mean, and people give me like lace. We've got ribbon leftover things from other crafts that we've done. I mean... And hey, gold, of course we're gonna hold on to fabric scraps like this. These are, they're gems. And then now often I'm using like hot glue. I'm not using hot glue. Like with this one, just with the cans and everything's harder, I'm gonna use tacky glue. So of course there's gonna be more of a drying time using this, but this is going to work better in the end. So let's have a look. You know, when we painted, we love using like sponge brushes and we actually had some like round sponges and the girls just had fun. And I loved watching what they came up with, like these wash of colors, you know, like we've added like some polka dots and sponging here. This one they took out into the grass and we're like splattering, which is great. Of course, added our glitter. You know, when we see their colors come out, I see their personalities like in, in what it is that they are doing. And as I said, if you have boys or even girls that don't want to go like, all out pretty, 
do bold colors. You could just do one like bold. I could have left this just as red or, you know, you could do like rainbow stripes. You know what? Go with your personality and don't discount a craft like this for boys because you think, oh, well, she's used girly fabrics. Yeah. But you know what? You could just do strips of bold color. It's entirely, entirely up to you. I think I want to use my red polka dots today. So we've got our can and now we're going to get our glue and our fabric strips. Now I like to lay them all out. Well, not all, like I do about four or five at a time. Just, this is something I like to do. So I'm going to think, okay, I'm laying it down. Oh, that's a nice one. Of course, we're going to have to add gold. Now here's the key. You want the glue to be on the right side of the fabric. See, this is the right side. That's what we call the wrong side. We want the glue to be here because when we press it in, you know, we want to see the right side on the outside. Does that make sense? So we need to do that. I'm often so used to putting things down like the wrong way. I'm like, oh, hang on, I need to do. So I'm just getting lots of different fabric scraps here. I just love like the whole lot of different color and stuff. I'm gonna squeeze my tacky glue onto the edges. Make sure just these strips all have some glue. And now I'm going to stick them on. Taking my glue, taking it up about half an inch or so and pressing it down into our thing. My next one, and we just move around. You can have them as close together as you like or as far apart from each other as you like. Sometimes you gotta give a good press. Yes, with tacky glue, you're gonna get it on your fingers, but it's okay because it just peels off when it dries. Did you ever do that when you were little? Like cover your hands with glue and then afterwards like peel it off. Wasn't it like you was like a snake shedding its skin. <laughs> Always fun. Okay, so I've got my first lot in here. I've just stuck them in. As you can see, here they are. They're sort of about half an inch or inch or so. So I've got them, I'm gonna sit down. Of course we want it to dry, um, but here's my next chance of going, oh, multicolors. What is it that I want to do? And it's great. I, I love projects like this because it's really fun watching personalities come out. Be thinking, oh, why are you doing that? What's that choice there? Um, you know, and to see just those, all of the different things. You know, I have one girl that will often follow a pattern. She wants a pattern in something. So if she's gone like blue, red, green, she's the one going to continue with blue, red, green, blue, red, green. And another one who's all about Oh, and it's there, and this is me, ta-da, you know, and I love that. So we've done our next slot. Again, I'm just pressing them down. Of course, we'd have to wait for them to dry really before we put it out. Um, but we just keep going around until the entire can is covered. Lace can be a little hard because the glue comes through. So we get a look. You can see, we're just adding. I'll just let that sit here. Now, there are so many other things that you could do to it. Um, you could get some ribbon like we did on this one and tie it around the top. I think I'm going to take just some nice sort of natural string and just sort of decorate the top a little bit. Why? Because I can. You know, you could get gems or jewels or buttons, whatever it is that you want on there um, to decorate how you want, because these are your wind socks. Remember, this is your creativity, yours coming through. Now we're just going to pretend that this is fully dried. As you can see, they're all, see, this is what happens. They're all like different lengths right now. When that dries, I want to cut those off. So like in this one, then ish, they're not exact, but they're closer in length. And then we put the top up so you can see don't you love the way that color, can't you imagine that blowing in the wind? We're going to be hanging these back down in our fairy garden. Now, when it comes to, I went and just put this nice sort of natural bow. Now, when it comes to like hanging them, of course, you could try and get a hammer and nail and punch a hole through and then use like fishing line or whatever. You could. That's dangerous. It hurts. I know. I tried. Or you could just ribbon and tacky glue it. The much safer method. <laughs> um, you know, or however it is that you want to be able to hang them, it's up to you. So I've got our ribbon up here at the end. We've decorated. We're going to have our octopus tendrils sort of at the bottom. Is this one again? Aren't they beautiful? So I said, you make it your own. Like this is the best thing. You take what's here, 
you add it to here and you just make it your own. I love the color and I think these are just going to look great hanging like in the trees and underneath like with our fairy garden. So we're going to have that again. If you have boys, let them follow their lead. You know, do big bolds, blues, greens, reds, blacks, camouflage. Oh, that could be fun. You know, it's really entirely up to you. But again, empty tin cans, how many of us have those? If you don't have fabric scraps, you could use paper. If not, go to a dollar store and just get like a roll of like ribbon. Like they sell like cheap ribbon there and have some fun. Create, upcycle, let your personality come through and create some absolutely beautiful tin can wind socks. Well, thank you for watching and being part of this community, being part of learning life, as I said, for your likes and your subscribes. You know, you can spread the word, tell your friends about us and the things that we do here with learning life, or you could join us as a champion. And that's a patron who helps us to get these videos out. And you can do that by checking out patreon.com or my website, where I will have instructions on how to make these and other fun stuff here, learningthis.life. Have fun, enjoy, let your creativity come to life. <laughs>